morning hope you're well welcome back to the channel just found some shade here it's a glorious day it's uh, Monday morning uh, I'm having an admin day at work today so I usually what I do is save up all the little sort of menial tasks and things that come up from the previous week I save them for a Monday I sit at home and I get them done um, means that I'm not coming home every night and firing the laptop up and sitting on and do that if it's if it's urgent I'll do it but more often than not it can wait so I'll do it on the Monday so that's what I'm doing it's early morning it's about nine o'clock I'm down in Hunslet um, I've been here before on a vlog but I'm down in sort of like the industrial heartbeat of Leeds down here lots of old mill buildings and uh, old pubs that are now offices or businesses so it's really interesting this this is where my late father was from sort of the LS10 area he lived in a place called Pottery Field which is somewhere back in that direction they built the uh, built the M1 and the uh, sorry the M621 over the top of it now so it's all gone but it, as you can tell by the name it's where the kilns were and uh, they used to make all the glazed pottery in Leeds from there I believe so I'm just gonna take you for a walk on the river I've got George with me as you've seen on the b-roll there just gonna go show you some interesting buildings I'll probably walk as far as Leeds dock show you around the dock where the armories is again I've, I've done that on a sort of touched upon it on a previous video but I'll give you a good look around there I just needed to get a vlog out really um, bit of daft news I bought an Apple Mac so I bought a MacBook uh, I think it's MacBook Air and I just can't get on with it so I've tried uploading previous vlogs and I've lost them I've deleted them so I've got about two decent vlogs to show you and I've not been able to do it so that's been a nightmare when that might go past so I'm just hoping I can get this home later on today, get it uploaded without any hiccups because I want to take that MacBook on holiday with me because I've got Zanti coming up in just over four weeks I believe it is, I think it's four weeks on Saturday we go so I want to get used to using it and sort of get a couple of vlogs under the belt and uploaded and edited on there on the MacBook before I risk taking it and deleting everything. So come along, let's get walking, I've rambled on for, for too long now, let's get down onto the riverfront and I'll, uh, I'll show you down there. So first thing to show you is this amazing sort of apartment building. You can see the old there turning into the new. Um, they've done a right job with that. I'll show you further down when we get down. I think it's Goodman Street down here. Just exactly what it looks like further on. But it is amazing how they've, uh, how they've managed to regenerate, I should say, an old building. Look at these amazing houses that are just down here. Look, have a quick wander down and show you. It's amazing how they've developed this. This is Yarn Street, this is called. So there's a little, little nod there, isn't there, to the what used to go on. But lovely, lovely little houses. So you've got Goodman Street Cafe there. I bet at one point that was a pub. I'd bet my bottom dollar on it. I'll try and see if I can find some old photos and either put them over the top or at least um, sort of show you them at the end on a little slideshow. But there's lots of history around here. And there you can see look at the uh, dog shaking look at the look at the mill building there how they've sort of done the old and blended it with the new on the end there the white bit again more of those lovely houses that they've built up with the garage sort of three-story things there and then on the left you have got what was the massive mill um, used to be thousands worked there so you can imagine this street at kicking out time and the mill shut heaving with people going into the pubs going home yeah this is twine street so again you've got a little nod to the past on there look at that who, who, who would have known this was here this place 20 30 years ago was just run down it was rat infested it really was horrible look how it's been regenerated so there you go twine street that amazing stunning architecture isn't it so 
really busy along here. There's lots of people out walking today. You can tell it's a glorious day. I think it's going to rain tomorrow. Not as warm as it has been at the weekend, but it's still a lovely, lovely day. So you can see there even more building work going on next to the mill so no doubt more housing going up there I bet. So look at all this graffiti, this is Richmond Bridge. I don't know how you stand or how you see what you think about graffiti but I think down here it looks pretty cool. Um, it's not bothering anybody is it some really really nice stuff on there yeah, look at that oh wow look at that I think you don't know if you saw that land there I think that might be a what is it a cormorant massive wingspan it's gone underwater now it's obviously gone fishing it'll no doubt pop up about 20 yards away as they normally do So this is Pig Love Brewery on the river. Not been here yet, but it does look amazing for a little drink on a on a walk when you're out and about in in the area. It looks really good. I'll just show you up here and see what we can see. So wow, look at all this here. So there's all sort of this is the climate innovation zone, as you can see. So there's all sorts of building work going on, and that's the actual brewery itself, just there, the little tap room, so to speak. Really busy, loads of people have just turned up, they seem to be um, getting a talk from someone. I'm just going to go over this nice bridge that I've just spotted. I never knew where you could get on this bridge but it's just here. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> look at that view. That's looking back towards sort of Roswell area towards Castleford eventually. And down there is Hunslet and Leeds in that direction so yeah lots going on here I'll show you these homes over this side as well because these look absolutely amazing what they've built here so it's obviously all about this climate thing but yeah god look at all this what a beautiful place to live you just hope that the old how they look for a long time and they aren't just a fad but yeah imagine living there by the water amazing eh look at that Nice little sort of step garden there. And then over there you've got those guys having a kind of lecture or something similar. I don't know exactly what they're doing but yeah. Yeah I think those guys there were from a college. They were talking about obviously green energy. Apparently one of where I've just been over that bridge is a street called Solar Avenue. So a lot of it runs off obviously solar power and anything that's left over goes back to the grid so it's all about the green credentials nowadays isn't it So 
so we're just getting in now to the outskirts of Leeds this is Leeds Dock coming up um, Crown Point Bridge some nice murals coming up which I'll show you some famous Leeds people first of all that over there is Bank Mills so that area behind that building was known as Bank and it's where all the Irish immigrants settled when they came to Leeds so that there was a massive mill complex again that full of squalor and uh, I think it apparently really humid and damp conditions in there and a lot of people got respiratory diseases from working there so yeah that's Bank Mills so there we go there's some famous people from Leeds Nicola Adams the boxer Alan Bennett who I think was a playwright wasn't he Sue Ryder she did a lot for cancer uh, and John Craven do you remember news round in the 80s there's good old John Craven that yet another building there's a, a lady sat up there working on a laptop on a table what a place to do your admin eh I'll be back at home doing mine I might go out in the garden for a bit see if I can see the laptop there is the Royal Armouries building. Now look at that with all the shields and swords and things in there. Way Bridge that look over there on the river hope you like that um, all those college kids were coming back I say kids are about late teenagers but yeah heading back down into Leeds as you saw I'll just turn you around and show you this now this is Leeds Dock look at that you can see right over there the yellow water taxi that you just saw coming in so we'll walk round here and then I'll start heading back to the car because I think the dog's getting a bit warm. So there you go, this was the largest dock in Leeds and it was built for coal, sand, gravel and timber. So yeah, lovely place on a day like this, it's stunning. And there's the water taxi just disappearing again back towards Leeds city centre, it's only about half a mile away, a mile, that's all it travels interesting little place, this is the Canary so it's made out of an old shipping container Right, hope you enjoyed that. I'm back at the car now. Sorry, I was going to show you some of the walk back, but I had a phone call. It's still pretty much the same as it as it was, obviously, same route back as I went, so you didn't miss out on much there. But yeah, look, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that little look around Leeds Dock and this area. I found it really in lockdown. Um, started walking the dog down here, and it's just gorgeous. I love it. So really busy today. Lots of, like you say, you saw those college kids. You saw lots of runners cyclists it really is a good hub um, around here 
so yeah thanks for watching look click, click that subscribe button if you can and click that thumbs up because it really does push this video out further like i say I'll, I'll try and get some more in next two or three weeks but then we're looking looking ahead to zanti then so um i'll take you along with me i'm hoping to try and do a, a video every other day from zanti so that'll be good i'm really looking forward to going thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one